welcome to Yesu Mofra Downfall. It's a great and exciting channel. Hello guys, welcome to Yesu Mofra Downfall. I'm Auntie Erajra and I'm super excited to see you today. You know, in the course of the week, I celebrated my birthday and I'm grateful to God for the addition of a new year. All glory and honor be unto his name for adding another year to my life. I am so grateful to God. Today we're going to have fun. You're going to learn new things. So stay tuned. We'll be right back after the song. Lord, if we could, we would fill our hands with all the wonderful things you give us. Then we'd lift them up and give them back to you. special I am different from you you are different from me you and your brother and your sister you're all different and unique and special and Jesus loves you so much and because we are special you're not going to allow anything to trouble our hearts because Jesus lives here and he wants us to trust him at all times that is why our memory verse says in John chapter 14 verse 1 do not let your hearts be troubled trust in God trust in god amen john chapter 14 verse 1 do not let your hearts be troubled trust in god trust in god john chapter 14 verse 1 amen guys have you been dancing your heart out and singing hymns of adoration and spiritual songs like we learned last week that david praised the lord with all of his heart and dance before the Lord you know when the praises go up then the blessings of the Lord gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger so always praise God do not let anything trouble your heart are your Bibles ready because mine is ready for the wonderful wonderful word of the Lord our Bible story for today is an interesting one 
David made a promise to Jonathan and he kept that promise. Today we are going to learn more about kindness. How deep is your kindness? Let us learn more from our Bible story for today. Our Bible story for today is titled David and Mephibosheth. David and Mephibosheth. Let's have the word of the Lord. David kept the promise he made to Jonathan. When Jonathan and his father King Saul died in battle, David became king. David searched for Jonathan's relatives so he could show kindness to them. He found Jonathan's son Mephibosheth. Let's learn more from the Bible. Our Bible story for today is titled David and Mephibosheth. And our scripture text is taken from 2 Samuel chapter 9 verse 1 to 11. Let's have the word of the Lord. David asked, Is there anyone still left in the house of Saul to whom I can show kindness for Jonathan's sake? Now there was a servant of Saul's household named Ziba. They summoned him to appear before David, and the king said to him, Are you Ziba? At your service, he replied. The king asked, Is there no one still alive from the house of Saul to whom I can show God's kindness? Ziba answered the king, There is still a son of Jonathan. He is lame in both feet. Where is he? The king asked. Zebaran said, He is at the house of Mikai, son of Amiel in Lodiba. So King David had him brought from Lodiba, from the house of Mikai, son of Amiel. When Mephibosheth, son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, came to David, he bowed down to pay him honor. David said, Mephibosheth, at your service, he replied. Don't be afraid, David said to him. For I will surely show you kindness for the sake of your father, Jonathan. I will restore to you all the land that belonged to your grandfather, Saul, and you always eat at my table. Mephibosheth bowed down and said, What is your servant that you should notice a dog like me? The king sermon Ziba, Saul's steward, and said to him, I have given your master's grandson everything that belonged to Saul and his family. You and your sons and your servants are to farm the land for him and bring in the crops so that your master's grandson may be provided for. And Mephibosheth, grandson of your master, will always eat at my table. Now Ziba had fifteen sons and twenty servants. Then Ziba said to the king, Your servant will do whatever my lord the king command his servant to do. So Mephibosheth ate at David's table like one of the king's sons. The word of the Lord. Lessons from our Bible story. In our previous lesson, David's heart. David praises God. We learned that David spared King Saul's life in the cave. He cut off a piece of the king's robe. David chose not to hurt the king when he had the chance because King Saul was chosen by God. We also learned that David praised God from the depths of his heart with the return of the Ark of Covenant from the house of Obed-Edom. God loves it when we praise him. When we sing his praises and his attributes, he becomes bigger and bigger and he is glorified in his throne and he blesses us the more. In today's story, David and Mephibosheth. David made a promise to Jonathan, and he was faithful and kept his promise by doing good to Jonathan's son. So when we make promises to God, we need to keep them and stay true to our words. When we also make promises to our friends or mummies or daddies or even to our siblings, we need to honor our promises. We need to fulfill them. If you promise mommy to help her in the kitchen, you need to fulfill it and help mommy in the kitchen. If you promise God to give him some of your money from your susu box or savings or piggy bank as an offering, you need to fulfill it and give God the money like David fulfilled his promise to Jonathan. David showed kindness to Jonathan's son who was lame in both feet. Lame or crippled means a person who cannot use a part of their body because of a disease. They are usually unable to stand or walk or run. I'm sure you've seen some before in traffic or around. They either use crutches or wheelchairs. David showed kindness to Mephibosheth. He 
didn't sack him, he wasn't mean to him, or he didn't look down on him, but he gave him all the property that belonged to his father Jonathan and his grandfather King Saul and shared his food with him as well. And Mephibosheth showed his appreciation by thanking King David. Some people may have body parts that do not work well. They are people with special needs, the blind, deaf, and dumb, and even crippled. As children, we shouldn't be afraid of them or look down on them, but we should love them and show kindness like David did because Jesus loves them too. You may be watching us and you do not have Jesus living in your heart. You don't have Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, but you would love to have Jesus as your master. I would love to pray with you so that Jesus comes to live in your heart. When Jesus comes to live in your heart, your life becomes new. And the beautiful and the wonderful place he's preparing for his sons, you become a part of it. You're going to stay there forever and ever. I would love to say a word of prayer. And I would want you to say these after me. Our Father in heaven, our Savior, our Redeemer, and our Great Shepherd, I thank you for today. And I thank you for my life. I thank you for dying on the cross to save me all my sins and eternal death. Please forgive me all my sins and all the bad things I've been doing. Wash me with the blood of Jesus that I'll become new without spot and without wrinkle. I invite you into my heart. Come and be the Lord and master of my life. I want to live just like you. I want to become just like you so that I can be a part of that beautiful family and the wonderful place you have prepared for us. Thank you for answering me. Help me to live for you in all that I do. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, who is super, super ready for a super fun activity? Get your colors, pencils, erasers, sketchbooks ready for today's activity. We are going to draw David at his dining table with Mephibosheth in his crotches. After you color beautifully, as always, I trust with the help of mommy and daddy, you do a great job. God bless you. Don't be afraid of them. Try and show kindness to them because Jesus loves them as well. I hope you learned something new today. You enjoyed the lesson. God bless you so much for tuning in.
Connect with us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Yes, my friend, down for.